Yet one of Faye's accounts shows payments on a credit card. Well, I need you to hack into the credit card records and find out where she's spending the money. I want to know Faye's every move from November until the day she died. You got that? Okay, Stan, thank you. Call me when you've got it. Oh, I thought you were searching for Michael's body, but from what you just said to Stan, it sounds like you expect to find him alive? I need to find out when Michael died. You mean what was Faith's motive? <sighs> yes. Did Faith always a plan to kill him, or did she panic in the end? Was that sniper her only accomplice, or was he a mental man? I need to find out if there's someone else out there who's also to blame. Right, Sam. but if there is someone else out there, you're going to want them to pay, right? I don't, I don't want to interfere, but I'm just warning you that Reese is still very close to this case. We don't know what her agenda is. It doesn't matter. It does. She's watching every move that you and Sonny make. I mean, what happens if you try to avenge Michael's death? She's not going to look away. You... Hi. Hey. Jeez. Hi, Sam. Hi, Emily. What's I just going on? came by to see how you were doing. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm all right. Yeah, I, I tried to come up with some way to make you feel better. I know it's not realistic. You loved Michael so much, but, uh, anyway, I made you some of my famous chocolate Thanks, chip cookies. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, I actually was just leaving. I have to return this file to Agent Marshall. I will see you guys later. Okay. It's good to see you. Yeah. Doesn't have to run out the door no, every time. No, she could tell I wanted to be alone with you. What happened? Nothing. Why do you ask? What are you talking? You, you're hurting. Something's wrong. Yeah. There is. Okay, well, just tell me what it is. I can fix it. You can't. Emily. Jace, you're grieving for Michael. It's not fair of me to come over you, here you and You said I can't help. Maybe I can't, you. but I can I can listen. Listen, I should go. Lucky no, 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 no. You, you Emily, you want to tell me or you wouldn't come over here in the first place. I should have come to you first. When? Helena's alive. We have to prove it so that we can get Nicholas out of prison. So we... I asked Connor Bishop to impersonate Nicholas. The idea was that that would bring Helena out of hiding. But things went wrong and I had to go into hiding myself. I should have called you. Jason asked you to help. But the plan was for me to stay in a safe house with Connor. And I thought that that would get Nicholas out of prison faster. Okay, so that's what you did? I was so focused on the plan that I didn't see what was right in front of me. Connor was crazy. Jay-Z thought that I belonged to him and I didn't understand it until it was too late. And then, I tried to get away. I fought as hard as I could, but Connor trapped me in the basement. He uh, threw me down, and I kept fighting, but he was stronger than I was. Connor raped me. Thanks for not making some standard trite response like it's gonna be all right or, you know, we'll just get counseling and therapy. You need to do whatever feels right to you. That's what I love about you, Jane. And why I felt so safe telling you. I mean, I, I hate to even ask you this, but, you know, have you been tested for diseases. Oh, God, no. I'm not, I'm not saying that you have to do it by any means, but you should probably uh, just consider it to be safe. I can't stand the thought of an exam. I, I, I don't want anyone touching me. Maybe a blood okay. test, but nothing no, I, else. I understand. I keep thinking that I'm going to get past it. You know, it's sick. It's wrong, but 
millions of women have been through it. You know, rape's always existed. I know, but you, you can't, I mean, compare yourself to anyone else and make judgments on how you think you should feel at this time, you know? I know, but I've always thought of myself as a strong person. But I feel so, so weak, so wound up inside. I mean, Connor's dead. He can't hurt me anymore. That's what I keep telling myself. But it doesn't help. And I can't tell anyone. When I went to visit Nicholas, he knew something was wrong. I pulled away from him and he was hurt. And Nicholas thinks of me differently now. Are you, are you sure? It's, it's my fault, not his. Hey, Nicholas has been wonderful. He says that he still loves me. But even if he does, he looks like Connor. And every time Nicholas touches me, I see a few Connor. I'd like to give you a hug, but, you know, if you don't want to be touched, I, I, I totally understand. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> oh, Chase. It's been so crazy. Yeah. Lately, I've been flipping out at the littlest things, yelling at people for no reason. <sighs> Sorry if I do that to you in advance, okay? I mean, you can do whatever you want. so afraid to sleep. I keep having these nightmares of being chased and attacked. And I try to fight it, but I can't. Oh, wake up screaming. I have an extra room. You can stay here. No, no, no. I, I, don't, I don't want Sam to know. Then promise me that you won't tell her. Okay? Promise me that you won't tell anyone. All right. I have to get back to Windermere. Lucky's staying there, and I promise that I'd take care of him. Well, you, you need to take care of yourself, too, Emily. Oh, I know. It just keeps me distracted so I don't have to think. Okay, I'm not, uh, not going to tell you what to do, but <laughs> I'm here if you need me. You know, telling you what happened and knowing that you're going to keep my secret help more than anything. So I took the file back to Reese, and guess who was coming out of her hotel room just as I was coming in? John Durant. Yeah. He is obviously pressuring her to get evidence against you and Sonny, but she says as long as the two of you don't break the law, then she has no reason. Are you okay? I was just thinking how... Uh, things happen that are so, so terrible. The pain never goes away. Some days are better than others, but it's just always there. Like Michael's death. I know what it's like. I mean, there's no way to make peace with it. And the, the only thing that helps just a little bit is to know why. I really thought I would help you to talk to your sister. It did. It did help me. It made me realize that I got to see this thing through with Michael. I'm going to keep searching until I find out for sure what happened to him. <laughs>